she had a. I wonder if I should say this. She had a. Um, a, 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 a <laughs> she, had, yeah. she does. She had um, a, a toilet built on a throne. Don't you get sick of it all? And lonely. I do. Which is why it's so important to have the right person by your side. You understand the titles, they're not the job. She is the job. So I'm Princess Margaret, who is the younger sister of the Queen and the daughter of King... George VI. Yeah. I play George VI, the current occupier of the crown, uh, briefly. Did that give it away? Is it? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's about... It's history. It's you about can Google Elizabeth. it. You, you can Google, Google it, it. yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got to go eventually. <laughs> it's like just very on the A bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Remember... What Papa called us. Yes. Elizabeth is my pride, and Margaret is my joy. But Margaret is my joy. The thing that uh, I was most touched by was that they, um, uh, this idea that they, they would start every day, whenever they were in the same building together, they, start, they would start every day spending an hour together. So the children would always spend the first hour, once they're up, with their parents in their parents' bedroom even on the day that, um, that Elizabeth got married. It was a lovely little touch. Yeah, very, they were such a close family. Um, I mean, Margaret has such a public, brilliant public persona anyway, but um, one interesting thing I learned about later on in her life, and this is quite a weird one, <laughs> um, she had a, I wonder if I should say this, she had a, um, a, 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 a throne. <laughs> she, yeah. yeah. like she does. She had um, a, a toilet built on a throne, so that was a sneaky that. secret. Yeah. yeah, do you not know that? No. Isn't that quite? That is, yeah. But I love that because it was a sort of it was like tongue in cheek, I suppose. So whenever our guests yes. came, they had to ascend the throne and all sort of go at <laughs> yes. dinner parties. And I'd spoken to someone. In fact, Joanna Lumley told me that, and she said it was kind of amazing because she was just this kind of great it's a real extrovert that kind of poked yeah. fun at her own, you know. Yeah. That, but that was much later on in her life. So I have to wait for season six for that. <laughs> You don't think I would have preferred to grow up out of the spotlight, away from the scrutiny and the visibility. It seems like on the outside there's an amazingly privileged life, but um, it's, uh, it's literally a gilded cage, isn't it? Yeah, it I seems think like it. it was amazing to kind of, it's something that I think we haven't re ever really imagined living within that reality, because again, you only see what they present, and I think what the series is amazing um, in, in doing is, is going behind the closed doors and really seeing how these human beings live in this ex completely extraordinary circumstances. I mean, who, the, who in the world, there's a handful of people that actually live like that. And so we really got to go to those places and film within those places and really kind of experience what it would have been like. And Margaret is the, um, I think, uh, the sort of vehicle for, uh, as, as a member of the family that's trying to push against the establishment and what she's, what's expected of her and how she's constrained by that world, as well as trying to break out of it. And actually, you know, having lived her life for a little bit, I, I think it was, although, yeah, like you said, extremely privileged and um, extravagant, it's also very limiting and very difficult. And I think the series isn't just about being a princess and how amazing it is. It's, it's, how, what psychologically, how, how, what comes with that, and how difficult it is, and how tough, and what's expected of you, and you know, how to, how you have to have to behave at all times because you cannot shake off that identity. Also, the only people who really know what it's like is the rest of your family. I mean, your family becomes so important because mm. uh, no one else can imagine what that what that existence is like, and you literally have to be born to it because I don't think any, would you choose it. You know, I don't think if anyone actually wants they maybe they would choose it and then they would go, wait a sec, this is a mistake, and then jump sort of one mm. year later. But you can't get out of it. You're yeah. literally born into it, and that's it. That's why that family unit is so important, I think. <laughs>